Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make arroz, Mexican rice. So what you will need is one diced tomato, a half an onion, cilantro, two tablespoons of nor suiza, oil, and of course the rice. So what I do is I put some oil, excuse my ugly pan, put some oil here on the pan. And then I put, my stove has been, not my stove, my pan has been preheated. So I'm going to throw in two cups of arroz. And then we're going to wait for it to start frying. So this is how you know when it started starts to get golden brown. You know it's about to go down. So we're going to add the onion and we're going to mix. The onion is just for flavor. It's optional if you guys want to add the onion or not. I like to add onion on, the, on my rice because it gives it a really, really good flavor. So now that, now that your, your rice looks golden like this and the onion starts to get soft, we're going to add tomato sauce this trick my husband gave it to me and to be honest it's the perfect um way to do it because it lets like the tomato sauce simmer in the rice and it i don't know it just tastes it tastes really 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 good and yes he does know how to cook and he cooks for us sometimes so we're just gonna leave it there for a bit not too long come on rice and then we're gonna add um, three cups of hot water into the rice because I did two cups of rice equals to three cups of water. So now we're gonna add two tablespoons of nor suiza, nor, nor suiza, nor de pollo. We're gonna add the tomatoes and we're gonna add the cilantro. Yay, I didn't forget it this time. And we're going to let it boil. We're going to cover it, put it to medium high, and we're going to let it boil. I think I'm going to add a little bit of more of water just so that it can be covered a little bit more. So it would be two and a half cups of water. And we're going to wait for it to be done. And then for about 10 minutes, we're going to let it boil and then put it on low so that it can dry up and I'll show you how it looks when it's done and it's almost ready I'm gonna simmer it down to medium low and just let it sit there for about another five minutes so that the water can keep evaporating okay guys so it's done this is how it should look delicious and hot yeah. So, five minutes passed by, we turned off the fire, and it's ready to be served. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and please let me know any requests you guys have. Comment down below. Don't forget to what, Luciano? Subscribe and hit that bell. Woo! <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I reached 100 subscribers. Please don't forget to tell your friends and family.